pretty much the entire first day of release here for New England Mountains and the Great One Moose and all the stuff that came with it. I was grinding for the Great One Moose here on Medved. We managed to go for about nine hours live the very first day grinding for the Great One Moose and I gotta say it's one of the uh, more intense streams that we've done in quite a while. It was nine hours of just searching for zones, smoking moose and uh, one very insane trophy that we will get to eventually, but throughout the last uh, day or two, there's been a lot of talk about a lot of the issues that arose with this update and a lot of the things that we were not told about until it dropped, and though I am quite annoyed with a lot of the stuff that has happened, including uh, just not telling us that the fur types for the Great One Moose were going to be rares and that most of us will get a common fur type moose, but there's been a lot of bugs that have shown up as well, and well, at this point, most of you guys already know what those bugs are, and we've talked about them extensively throughout the live stream that we did that day, so I'm not going to get too deep in them to, into them today, as that's really not the focus of this video. But I did just want to acknowledge that I am too quite disappointed in a lot of the things that have happened, just like all of you guys. But that's not going to detract from the fact that I am very excited to grind for a Great One Moose, even if we aren't going to get a special fur type on it, even if it comes out as a common... I'll still be pretty happy with it as it'll still be a great one moose and provided I get one of the racks that I was really hoping for it'll still be a pretty cool thing to get I feel but nothing is going to top the trophy that we got on day one of the grind and we will get to that soon but first we're going to kind of go over the zones that we have found and what our grind is looking like currently now given this is definitely not all of the zones but as of now these are the zones that i have found you guys will see two images pop up one of them will be the top half of my map and the other half will be the uh, lower half of my map so there's a lot of zones there is a lot of zones for moose these are just drink zones by the way as well it's not nearly as much as new england but there is still a lot of zones on medved i believe i have close to 100 now maybe a little bit more than 100 i can't quite remember but the point is it's a lot of zones that is a lot of ground to cover, and that means that this grind is going to take a long time. I believe throughout the nine hours that I streamed on day one of release, we only killed about 250 moose, which is pretty crazy. If we were hunting something like whitetail or red deer, we easily would have killed probably 500 or more in that nine hour period, and if we were far into the grind, it would have been closer to 1,000. So that alone is pretty insane. And another thing that's quite insane is this guy right here. This is the first uh, diamond potential four that we have got stacked on the map. I do think this one probably will make diamond. So I did decide to leave it for our herd management grind. We will be leaving this guy as well as all of the twos and below that spawn and any other level fives that spawn. This moose grind has definitely been one of the more difficult grinds we've done here on the channel. But I gotta say so far I actually am having quite a bit of fun with it. These moose, while difficult, are quite enjoyable to hunt. And in a lot of ways, it gives me that extra challenge that stuff like the whitetail and red deer sometimes fail to give. And it still stayed relatively fun, which is amazing. We also didn't just get one cool trophy on day one of the grind. We did actually manage to get ourselves something else as well before that absolute beast showed up. So the first thing that we ended up finding was a little piebald moose and I think it's about time that we take a look at him because it was the first good trophy of this grind and I gotta say I'm a big fan of the way the rare moose look with the new fur textures and the new models for the moose it looks really good and I hope to see some more of these revamps in the future for stuff like whitetail because let's be honest stuff like the whitetail piebald it needs a lot of work it's one of the more lackluster piebalds in the game and it could really use from some variation or maybe some new patterns to go along with it. But with that uh, point aside, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful piebald moose. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, we got a piebald. Oh my gosh, look at that. We got a little level three piebald. Holy. Amazing, our first rare of the grind. Let's go, guys. That is a beautiful moose. Wow, that is sick looking. I love the piebalds. Look how tiny he is as well. That's practically a level two. That is practically a level two. That's pretty cool. That is pretty awesome. I'm excited to take that guy down. Uh, let's get lined up. Let's get lined up on him. Try to get a good shot. 
I think we could hit the heart from here. Um, let's see. I want to get that guy as well. And just like that, hard shot. Wow, that's cool. We got a rare already. Wow. That looks so good. 124 piebald moose. Let's tax that immediately. That is the coolest trophy that we have got so far. Actually, it's the only trophy. We have yet to get a diamond. We have yet to even see a five. We've got a couple big fours down. But that's it. That is, uh, that's pretty cool. That is a cool uh, trophy there. Another thing uh, before we get into the main part of this video that I should probably clarify is when it comes to this whole issue with the fur types for the Great One Moose being rares, I know a lot of people are disappointed in that fact alone, but for me, it the disappointment lies more in the lack of clarity from the developers on the fact that it was going to be all rare fur types that they were showing off. They were showing off all of these cool fur types as if they were going to be just the commons that we could expect on every great one. And that gave a lot of people a reason to grind for the Great One Moose. A lot of people wanted the Great One Moose because of the fur types combined with the racks. And, well, I just don't feel like it was a good idea to not tell us that they were going to be rares. That is by far the worst part of this in my eyes. And though I'm sure some of you, like I said, are probably just disappointed in the fact that they're rares. For me, it's more about the fact that they didn't tell us that they were going to be rares. If they had come out and immediately told us, hey, these are going to be the rare fur types for the Great One Moose, I would have been like, okay, that's pretty cool. I guess I've got something good to grind for that's going to take a while to get and I may never get. But it's the fact that from the beginning, we all thought that it was going to be just the normal fur types for them. And then that combined with all of the massive amount of issues that happened with this update, it just left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. So. It's hard to say what's going to happen going forward. I really hope that they're able to kind of iron out some of the issues. And I hope that they... I hope they do something about the Great One Moose's fur types. I hope they make it either so they're not absurdly hard to get like a normal, like, super rare or something like that. But it would be nice to, to see them at least give us a little more clarification on exactly how often we can expect to see these. Or maybe even in the future tweak them to make it so we can get the desired results from it. And as always, whenever we talk about something like this on the channel, feel free to voice your opinions in the comments and let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you think I'm overreacting to something or if you think that this really is something that needs to be uh, talked about because it's definitely an issue that's been talked about a lot throughout the community. And I've seen just so much of it pretty much the entire first day of grinding. It was just answering questions in the chat about what's going on with the fur types and why they did it that way and talking about different bugs that have happened and people losing their need zones and uh, people having their red deer and whitetail completely moved around the map for no reason while still being the exact same herds of them it was it was an interesting interesting day of lots of bugs that we did not expect to have happen so let me know what you guys think of all this and uh yeah i'll be sure to reply to as many as i can but without further ado let's officially get into the most insane trophy that I've, I think, ever killed on the channel. This tops any other super rare that I've ever had. And it, it's crazy because while this is probably the rarest trophy I've ever killed, it's still not the Melanistic Red Deer Diamond or the Melanistic White Tail Diamond. Those are the two that I have grinded literally hundreds, maybe even thousands of hours to get. And I keep getting the trophies that are... To be honest, more rare, but not what I was chasing after, so that's kind of crazy and uh, kind of hilarious at the same time, but I'm still happy regardless. It's still super cool, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy with it, and I gotta say, it's gotta be one of the most insane reactions I've ever had to a trophy as well, because it was the last thing I expected to see while opening up my map and discovering all of my need zones. Oh! Oh my gosh! What? Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> what, dude? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Do you guys know what that is? 
Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm shaking! That's a guaranteed diamond melanistic! That's a guaranteed diamond melanistic! There's no way! Oh my gosh! I think I just killed my voice. Hold on. Oh my gosh. That's a guaranteed diamond melanistic, guys! I don't even care if we get a great one now. I don't even care if we get a great one. Oh my gosh. There's no way. I normally I'd stack every five we get at the beginning, but I gotta kill this. I can't I can't stack it. We gotta kill it. Oh my gosh, guys. Hold on, I gotta I gotta recover my voice. That was that was bad. Oh my gosh, there's no way. The second I saw its back and saw that there was no brown on the back, I immediately knew that was a rare. And then when it was a five, oh my gosh, dude. I don't know how to. I don't even know how to comprehend this. This is the craziest thing I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Shoot it with the new gun? I would, but I don't have the new gun on me. I don't want to spook him. He's giving us a really good angle. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it, uh, Blitz. I'm going to go for Lung for sure. To be honest, if I miss the heart, I think we'll still hit Lung. If I move to the side, I think we will. Oh, he's facing us now. He moved! Oh, we got him! Oh my gosh! Oh, that scared me! Oh my gosh, that scared me. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Hey, hey, you. No, stop it. Bad. Bad. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. That scared me so bad. I thought we messed up the shot. It moved as I shot, but we're okay. We're okay, and that's all that matters. Hey, Pro XCK, how's it going, dude? Man, you made it just in time. Oh my gosh. Where did it go? There he is, there he is. Okay, let's go claim him. Quick, quick, quick. Oh my gosh, 285 Melanistic Diamond. Tax quick. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That's my greatest trophy ever. My greatest trophy ever killed is right here. Oh my gosh. That is insane. That is the best thing I've ever killed. Oh my gosh, I freaked out so bad when he moved. I thought we might have lost him, but luckily we still got the lung. We still got a lung. This guy definitely has to be the trophy that I've been the most excited to see. I have been looking for a melanistic diamond for quite a while, whether it's of the red deer or the white tail. I never expected it to be a moose, and honestly, I'm pretty happy that it was because this guy looks absolutely beautiful. And until we get a male bobwhite quail uh, to put in a multi-mount with him, we're just going to have to have him right here on the wall. But I do think he looks good with our other rare moose. We've got ourselves a few rare moose that we've killed over the years, but nothing really compares to this guy. And I just can't believe how lucky we've been in the last couple months. Uh, throughout the whitetail herd management grind and, and now this, I just, I have no words for it. And honestly, at this point, I don't even care if we get a great one moose because... We've already got something that's probably going to be better than a Great One Moose. This is by far going to look better unless we somehow manage to get one of those insanely rare fur types for the Great One Moose. But I think regardless, this grind has already been worth it just for this trophy alone. And I cannot wait to see what we manage to get uh, further into this grind. This guy right here was found six hours into the grind, and if you haven't seen the stream where we found him, I definitely recommend you guys go and watch some of that, especially the moment when we did spot him. So you can see the whole, like, unedited, uncut version of it. It will be here on the channel for you guys to watch. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is the best trophy that we've ever killed, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!